That's one fifth of the ropes done. Safe. What is happening, family? We are vlogging today. It's gonna to be a quick vlog. Just gonna take you through the day in the life and get to the point where I share with you how Nathan and I, uh, we create videos here, how we create our tutorials. And yeah, man, it's Black Friday, which is exciting times. A couple of days, we're gonna go live with our biggest sale of the year. So check the links down below. 12 o'clock, so midnight on Thursday, everything is gonna be reduced. So you need to jump online and we're just gonna, yeah, share with you what's coming out, show you guys how we create this magic that you watch on uh, this channel. So anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy this quick vlog. First point of call, peeps. We are gonna shoot some new apparel for our TFS club, so the Flyer Society. We usually open the memberships a couple of times a year. Just decided to create some merch for whoever's part of this club. So if you're interested in it, just go on my website, just click the Flyer Society link and um, keep an eye on your emails. What you guys will get is discounts, first access to launches, special products, exclusive products, uh, and sick merch like this. All right, got this really nice burgundy t-shirt as well. First ever burgundy t-shirt, can you believe? We made a vest, made a hoodie, never a t-shirt. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get these on, we're gonna shoot them, they need to go on the website, and we're gonna take you through the camera setup. And actually, I said I was gonna show you how, how we film videos, but I just might as well show you how we just basically create content while we're at it. <laughs> Basically, there's a lot of there's a lot of creases on this thing, so we need to get the steamer out. And Nathan's got to do a bit of ironing. So we'll Me? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do that now. All right, here's our tech room. Cameras, more cameras, stuff, steamer, steamer. That's what a steamer looks like. Probably not the best one. Pick this up on Amazon. Does the job, right? Sort of. Sort of. Let's get one of those. How long does it take to, to fire up? Two, three minutes. All right, folks, hopefully you can see this. You can't feel it, well, I'm obviously I'm feeling it, but we've gone for this kind of velvety, really, really soft fabric here for this like hoodie. And it's a little bit thinner. I say thinner. It's not as thick as our usual hoodies because I want this again uh, to be able to, to be used when you're training and things like that. And we've got this burgundy t-shirt, really, really nice. Got the Fly Society logo here. It's a little bit of like a kind of 3D print. Let's try and get in close there so you can see. We've got some nice, cool branding features. That's the black version. Really, really nice, really cool. Simple, it's got this curved hem. You'll see it on me a bit later on. And then we've got this gray version, gray version of the hoodie with a neon green logo. So yeah, really cool. Really happy with how this all turned out. And that will go live for Black Friday as well. And the really cool thing about this whole little lineup, I know it's not a lot, but it was chosen by the, the members of the Fly Society community. Um, I put out a little email with some designs and they all chose this, or well, the questionnaire showed that they showed this and we got it made for them. So that's what's cool about this club. Be a part of it and you can actually select the clothes you get to wear. I got it for free. Get it on the hanger, find somewhere to put the hanger. We're just gonna try and get these big creases out. Don't burn yourself, bro. No, I'm right. And then you sort of let gravity and the weight of the hoodie do its job. So I put it close, but don't touch it. To be fair, we're notoriously known for taking pictures in creased stuff, right? Yeah, creases are already coming out. We really like this one. Like a new merch? It's good, man. It's cool, Clean right? print. Very nice. It looks decent. All right, whilst Nathan does some ironing peeps, I'm gonna quickly share with you the first bit of kit that we use, or that I use anyway, mostly. This camera that I'm vlogging on is the Sony ZV. It's a ZV1, right? No idea. All right, and it comes with this kind of flip out screen, which is all, always kind of nice. It just kind of helps you frame things up. And yeah, it comes with a standard zoom lens, really nice, really sharp. You can see as well, like as soon as I put my hand there, it's like everything's in focus. So I really, really like this this uh, this camera. First hoodie is this black Flyer Society with a yellow brand in. How's it looking? Slick. It's looking nice. Yeah, man. I look hench. You do actually, you've been <laughs> gym, yeah? I've been trying. You've been doing shoulders. I've been trying to do a bit of shoulders. Uh, all right, quickly, we've got, um, I was well, talking about the shoulders. The way we cut our hoodies, guys, um, is called a reglan hem. So it kind of cuts in, the seam cuts in here. So it kind of exposes the shoulder joint. Most hoodies will have like the kind of the seam across here. So I kind of like this kind of fit. And we've changed it up a little bit. Normally we have kangaroo pockets, which is the pockets that connect in the middle. But now it's just singular, singular pockets on each side, which is really nice. So they're kind of hidden. And um, 
yeah, that's the first one. We're gonna go shoot that now. Guys, it is absolutely freezing today, man. The temperature has dropped madness. So these pictures, when you see them on the website, you're probably gonna see a few little nips kind of hanging out. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, but it's freezing today. So give us a like. Give us a like on this video for how cold it is and how, how we're busting our guts <laughs> to get some fire content for you. Photos now done, peeps. The plan of action is we get them into the laptop. Nathan's gonna put some edits on it. We're gonna share basically how he gets um, his fire edits done when it comes to photos. What's our next steps? Uh, back up all the images, take them into Lightroom, do some local adjustments, get them up to Dropbox so Sophia can get them uploaded to the website. Alright peeps, whilst Nathan gets on with his photo edits, I am going to start some orders. So we're getting backed up here a little bit, getting prepared for Black Friday. What usually kind of happens is I get some help over the weekend, we get all the orders out. Um, but quick update, the, the new HQ, a lot of you have been asking what's going on with that. There's been a little bit of delays, um, a lot of kind of contracts and legal things on the, yeah, going on in the background. So all this stock that you see behind me was obviously have meant to have gone to the new place um, and we haven't got the keys properly officially yet. So I'll keep you posted. So I'm gonna now get some orders done and then we're gonna hook up the YouTube tutorial that we're about to film and we'll take you through, again, how we set up the equipment and what we think about the process uh, when it comes to creating those videos and the editing style that we go for. No glasses. Pick up to my guy, Jun. Where's that going? This one's going to China. Uh, folks, chatting to one of my one of my guys in America. Larry's his birthday today. Say what's up, bro. What's up, peeps? Larry's Larry's. People, what's happening, man? Larry's flying boss out there, man. You gotta check his check his bits out there. I'm gonna have to do a little jump rope lab with you, yeah, because we need to do that that 360 uh, cross behind the back. Joe, I'm gonna put your put your IG here, man. Go check this guy out, man. He's turned 40 today. Wish him a happy birthday. People will see your skills. 40, look at you, man. Don't even look older than 30 right now. That's what skipping does, man. It keeps you young. <laughs> you can see all the grey hairs on me. <laughs> all right, people, I'm gonna take over the vlog quickly and I'm gonna show you the quick setup for our tutorials. So we tried to place the tripod as central as possible. Obviously, we'll move it around once the camera's on with the ball head as well, and get a nice stable base. All right, so we have the first camera on, which is a Sony a7C with a Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. We won't be shooting at 1.4 today because that depth of field is too low. As you can see here, this is the angle. This one's going to be shooting in 4K today, so we can punch in on Rush when he's doing his uh, live demonstration of a move here. Uh, but it also, with the wide angle, we can get a nice wide when he does come close. But the 4K allows me to punch in post-production so we can see what he's doing with the skipping move. Okay, I'm moving on to the second camera. We have another Sony a7C here with a uh, 28 to 75 2.8 Tamron. We're shooting around, around about 50 mil today. And uh, let's just have a look at that screen. This is that second angle. This one's gonna be shooting on 100 frames a second. And we obviously, we won't be exporting in 4K because this camera's not shooting in 4K. But uh, this one's gonna be shooting in 100 frames. So again, double your frame rate. So one 200th, shooting at 2.8. And uh, that gives us that nice second angle so you can see the side moves. And also I can reuse this footage for any slow motions uh, because obviously it's shooting in 100 frames. So that's what it looks like there. And uh, that's what we're dealing with with the second camera. All right, and for audio, we're using a Rode mic today, uh, receiver and obviously transmitter. That is for you, bruv. You know what to do with that. Let's do that. Make sure you turn it on. <laughs> do you want me to do it? No, I'll do it. Safe. We once recorded an entire video without turning on one of these mics. That was fun. All right, today, peeps, we're using the round mat. I haven't pulled out the round mat for a tutorial in a while. This is all going on sale, by the way, yeah? Remember, all on sale. Everything's been reduced. This Thursday, midnight, all right? There's a code. You have to use it. I think it's Black Friday 24. Get it done. Trust me. And also, like, also, if you've got some loved ones, you know, these are some good Christmas gift ideas, man. Get them get them into shape for the new year, get them started, just give them a bit of motivation, get some extra brownie points for your missus or for your hubby or all those interconnectional relationships you think might be in. <laughs> get your 24% off guys on um, Black Friday. Do it. All right, so Nathan's still finishing up the, the setup right now. Basically on my notes, that's not my notes, but on my phone during the day, during the week, when I get video ideas, 
I just put it on my notes and I've got like a kind of visual way of just knowing which videos I need to tick off. That's a really good way of like kind of planning tutorials. Then during the week, uh, I'll get DMs or messages and requests on YouTube and the comments. And those just add to my video library list or to-do list. And then it's just about when, when we're about to turn on the cameras, in my mind, uh, sometimes I jot it down, but usually in my mind, I kind of know the points I need to hit. And then if there's any drills that I need to go through, I know which drills to go through. And then it's not much of a freestyle, but what I just love about my style of video recording is that it's just very, I guess, natural because it comes straight from my mind. Like it's not all written down, nothing scripted. And um, I just have a plan of how it needs to be done in the editing process. So I've taken Nathan through my kind of way of what I prefer to edit or how I like the edits come out. And then he adds in his little sprinkles of kind of like extra little zoom ins and if there's any kind of cinematic things that we need. But for these kind of tutorials for YouTube, like they're very plain, like you see two camera set up and then um, I will go through it. And it usually takes about 10 to 12 minutes of like re recording time. And then we try and cut it down. And obviously I'll mess up if I, if I say something silly or I stutter or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's just how we get prepared for the video. Okay, so today's video, um, what we've got planned is I'm gonna be helping the beginners anyone getting into skipping, how they can really ramp up their skill level and get to that kind of intermediate look. It's more about timing, more about footwork. Uh, it's a really nice tutorial. It's one that I've had in my mind for a long time. And it's just how, about how to really work the legs and the arms in sync and, and not let things break down when they're trying to do moves like side swings and boxer skips and things like that. So we're gonna film that right now. We'll put you to the side and you can just see how it all kind of runs. We have to do a nice big loud clap so we sync up both microphones. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Action. What's cracking, Job Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the jump, rope, coach. Two things that I showed there. One was the feet like not moving at all. We are growing at an amazing, amazing pace, and um, we've got delivery. Lunch time. Oh. Some of this bad boy. Okay. Nathan kind of bought me some chips. I've got a crocodile chicken wrap. These are banging. Um, this is what the timeline looks like. Very, very simple. Just uh, two layers of video from both angles. Let's see, see, see that one. Yeah, it's a nice angle. I love this. Angle. All right, so there's nothing. Yeah, nice and easy. How long's uh, how long's the video looking? What's one time? Uh, we've got a running time of nine minutes so far. Okay, but it'll, I do you slipped up. a few times. Yeah, I do so mess up a few times. Uh, with intro and outro, you're probably looking at nine minutes still. Okay, this is, a, this is a hardcore tutorial, man. It's very good, um, very nice and easy to, to follow through, man. Check it out. All right, how long would you say that, that edit took you, roughly, bro? I had some lunch in between, innit? So, had some lunch for an hour, hour and a half. About an hour and a half, that edit, it was um, quite an easy one, that one, isn't it, though? Yeah, no, they're fair. very simple. It's just cutting between the two angles, and then it's just putting in graphics, and now we've got to find music, so it's... Finding music's very important. Another thing to mention when it comes to content creation is We've got two days with Nathan, and I've probably mentioned it on previous videos before, but normally we try and get like as many YouTubes as we can done. I've got ideas, so I'm like, yeah, let's get this done, let's get this done. Then we have ideas for kind of different platforms like TikTok, Instagram. There's like all these various platforms and we've got to try and cram it all in, editing time included. So now we've got the golf channel now as well, which I haven't mentioned. Rush Golf TV, if you like a golf, go check that out. Um, yeah, so there's so many different things that we're trying to get out, trying to do. Uh, and we don't, to be fair, I don't have a proper structure right now. But in the future, going forward, hopefully we get more uh, content creators or editors and Nathan have more time, potentially, if he's up for that. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't clone myself. But yeah, we're going to get better with our timing. So hopefully, we get a bit more structure. That was what this point was about. And that's pretty much it. We're pretty much um, towards the end of the video, man. Like, hopefully, hopefully you got something out of it. This is how we kind of create content. Yes, my bro, you right? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, bro. You YouTube friendly yet or not yet? No, no, no. Never, no, 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 never no, no, in no. three, in four years. No, allow me, bro. Allow me. They know your voice, though. Yeah, that's fine. We can't say your name, but no, this no, is no, this no. is the legend who who helps us out here, peeps. All right, that's it. Are you still doing that today, bro? That's oh. it. Royal Mail keeping us. Keeping us good, peeps. All right. Have a good one, good one man. Take it easy. Yeah, easy. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie?
Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now. 